What's up guys, I'm Brian. And I'm Maury from the Yuri Better Beer Bureau. Uh, today we've got a special one that, honestly, I wasn't expecting for it to roll into Yuri, but uh, it did. And this is the Bourbon Barrel Age Worldwide Stout from Dogfish Head. Um, clocks in at anywhere from 15 to 18 percent alcohol. Uh, Dogfish Head has kind of just been doing that with their high octane uh, caution series. Right. Um, just kind of saying anywhere between 15 and 18. Um, that's what this one is. It's aged in fresh, wet Heaven Hill barrels. Oh, nice. um, so, you know, I've been excited for this one. We've been drinking regular worldwide stout, as probably many of you have for years. Um, and they did the oak vanilla a couple years right. back, which was di a different tweak and pretty tasty. Uh, but really, a full out barrel aged one is. Uh, uh, what I've been waiting for and we're gonna get into it. And we'll let you know what we think about it Okay, you got those like dark fruity kind of port like notes of regular um, Worldwide stout and then there is unmistakably bourbon in it. Yes a Little bit of an oaky character too. Yeah, I get some I get some barrel character out of it. I mean and I almost get like a just a faint smoker leather. It's it's not like strong like in some beers like um, from Hair of the Dog and stuff like that. But it's definitely there for me. I I almost am getting a. Uh, and I I know when you say smoke, it kind of pops in my head a little bit stronger than what I was smelling, but uh, like a peaty earth. Yeah, yeah. Uh, like a you know like in a scotch almost. Uh, yeah. No, I agree with that. I, I don't know. It's just, it's there, but it's not like super strong, but it's there. It's definitely there. Cheers. Oh. That'll warm you. Wow. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. There's no shortage of booze in this. No, uh, not at all. Wow. And it, it starts, I mean, it starts at the tip of your tongue and just kind of just shoots down your your throat and oh, we're gonna have to edit this <laughs> <laughs> Son of a, uh, we could just start it over no <laughs> we can just keep going it's, it's funny enough man no editing leave it uh, yeah it's it, to me it's like a little bit thinner than regular yeah. worldwide stout not that it's ever been the thickest stout you know before anyway um, but I would say the barrels thin, thinned it out even just a little bit more. Um, it drinks to me like a barrel-aged strong ale. Right. You know what I mean? Like you, you'd you almost think, is this like a, a barley wine stout hybrid and then aged in barrels? But it's definitely delicious. Um, you get the sweet accents of the bourbon and you get the, like the, it follows the notes. You get yeah. the fruity notes of worldwide stout. You get the booziness of worldwide stout. Right. It's actually intensified because of the barrel. And I almost get like a, a, a cola sense to it. Yeah, like, no, on, I can on see the flavor, that. man. Like, I, I feel like, I don't know, maybe it's the carbonation with uh, the barrels and, you know, just worldwide stout. I've been kind of toying with a couple different scores. I'm going to give it a 4.25 and hold there. Uh, I'm pushing past that in the 4.3 somewhere. Um, you know, it's delicious. And uh, there's unmistakable bourbon here. Um, the bourbon has thinned out the base beer a little bit, which is okay. Like I said, it's never been, um, you know, overly thick. But I think it's also, in some ways... Um, taken away from the complexity of like regular base worldwide stout but thankfully we also get the bourbon and the barrel notes that kind of make up for that some uh, I think this one's gonna age really well I'm um, glad I have a few more bottles to sit on um, and see what what happens with it uh, it's you want to talk about a winter warmer though yeah this thing will do it um, it's it's pretty delicious and it'll warm you up around the holidays for sure. So yeah, I'm gonna give it a four two five, bro. Yeah, I was uh, I was kicking back and forth like you were, um, and I I, I I couldn't pull the higher score. Um, I was between a four two five and a four and a half. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm gonna stick a solid four two five. Uh, I just uh, I, I, there's some things I kind of miss. Um, 
honest. I, you know, I mean, when I think stout, for the most part, you think you're going to get some kind of chocolate note to it. It's really not a lot in this, but this did have some interesting things going on with it. It does. Had some like that cola. It had some of that peatiness going on. It had, I mean, it has tons of bourbon. Mm -hmm. Has you know, there's plenty of bourbon. Yeah, you're not missing the bourbon. No, uh, you know it's it's hot. I mean, it's out of the gate, it's hot. Like so, if, like he said, coming in out of the cold, uh, you crack one of these bad boys open. Yeah. You know, I mean, <laughs> you don't have to have chill on it really. Just crack one open, and and you're gonna be fine in about two seconds. So <laughs> it really warms you up. It does, uh, and and that's not in a bad way. No, no you know, I mean, not. but um, just sitting here and like we've you know we've said several times how much thinner worldwide kind of is and you know stouts and we were sitting here kind of off camera and I was sticking my finger and you can see yeah you can your see fingers through. all the way mm -hmm. through it like you know so you're looking down on it it's not it's not even a matter of how much is in your glass you just you can see your fingers um, which is a little knock on a stout for me like I, I want my stout super dark um, and there's you know there's room for these you know ones in there I mean obviously uh, I, I, I'm probably, once I leave here, I'm going to go pick up a four pack. <laughs> <laughs> and it is available local. Yeah. Place, so, yeah. you know. Wait till uh, I get mine before all you guys right. run and get it. But, uh, no, I, uh, solid 425. Yeah. So, we're going to wrap this up, especially since the phone's right anyway. So, till next time, guys. Cheers. Cheers.